Hey, 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 hey. The objective of this video is to determine how do I find the variance of a discrete random variable? How do I find the standard deviation? And, but before we do that, let's remind ourselves of something I showed you on the other video. How do we find the expected value? Now, as I remember saying, the expected value is the same as the average, but all averages are not created equal. So before I go and talk about the variance, let's look back at our ABGAR scores for the babies. And let's take note of that and try to find what the expected values are. Try to find the average weights of these particular discrete random variables. Now if you go on your previous page, here remember you had the ABGAR score of 0 is um, 0 0.001. The ab child having an ABGAR score of, of 1 is 0 0.006. So in other words, the probability of occurrence is, in, is all in here. And you notice I've cut off my 10. That's an oops. Now, what I'm going to do is to find the average of those. Again, everything's not created equal. So when it comes to things like this, you've got your probability of it occurring to be, thank goodness, a small, you know, 0.1%. Here, let's jump to 6. The probability of a child having an ABGAR score of 6 is 3.8%. Thank goodness. An ABGAR score of 9, child is rocking, 43.7%. So how do I find an average of something if things aren't created equal? Because here's the thing. The reason we can add numbers up and divide by the number of values is because all of those are considered equal. But in the reality, things aren't always equal. So you guys are taking classes in college. All classes are not going to be three units. Some are going to be three, some are going to be two, some are going to be one, some are going to be four. And because they are considered a different amount of units, it is not fair for you to get credit equal to that a one-unit class be equal to the amount of a four-unit class. No, it should affect your grade point in a different way. So this is what we're going to have to do. Okay, our expected count, remember, is the same as an average. So the average of x is going to equal, and here again, knowing the, the term expected count, expected value, Let me get off of this because I'm on freeze right now. There we go. So that first ABGAR score was 0, and the probability of that was 0, 0, 1. The next ABGAR score was 1, and the probability of that is 0, 0, 6. Okay, the next one, the ABGAR score was 2, and that's 0, 0, 0.007. Remember, I'm getting those values from this chart. So as I continue, so here the APGAR score is 0 0.3, which is which is 3, I'm sorry. The probability of a child having an APGAR score is 0 0.008. I'll do a couple more. So that's 4 times 0 0.012. And then here I'm just going to go dot, 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 and then I'm going to go 10 times the APGAR score right here, which is a perfect child but they're all so perfect to be this right here. And then we just do the math. We just do the math. Is there a shortcut way of doing this? Yeah, you can put your APGAR scores in L1, your probability in L2, but the reality is by the time you've done all that, you could have just done the math the long way. But sometimes it's helpful, not necessarily in this case. So by the time you've done all of that, here is your expected count. Okay, now since we are reminded of how to find our expected count, which is our mean, now let's slide back and answer the question, how do I find my variance? How do I find my standard deviation? Okay, here's the ugly formula, but at least this formula is one of the few formulas that's on the AP test. So, take a note, take a minute rather, to write this down, we're always going to start off with the variance. 
Remember the variance is the standard deviation squared. So here's your standard deviation. I'm squaring it. Of that little sub x is just saying the, the data is represented by x. That's all it is. And as you look at this formula, what does this mean? It's just a summation of you take the, the piece of data, subtract it from the mean squared times the standard deviation, I mean times the um times the probability. Then you take your next piece of data, you're gonna subtract that data from the from the expected count that you found here. Okay, square it, and then that's the probability of occurrence, and then you're gonna go dot dot dot, and then you're gonna add them all together. So let me show you where that formula is on the AP test though. Okay, so both of the formulas are right here. It's not working. Oopsie. They are right there. Okay, so at least they give us those, but that's pretty much all they give us on this one. So let's now do the problem. So as I am looking at, now that formula told us that we had to find the the discrete random variable, which is what I have here, 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Then I'm going to have to, I'm trying to show both, but it's just not working for me. Then I've got to subtract that from the mean. A little dot there. And the mean in this particular situation was 8.128. And then I have to square it. And then I've got to find the probability of that particular ran discrete random variable, which in this case, as I'm looking at that one, is 0. And then I have to do that, and I have to keep doing it for, that's the first one. And then here is the second one. And dot, 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 till I have them all. So, let's just do it. And let's just get used to writing down the formula. So, it is the summation of the first one. Minus... They use mu sub x, x bar, you know it's the same, whether it's the population or whether it is the, the sample. Then multiplying it by the probability of occurrence. So let's just get this party started. So this is going to be 0 minus 8.128 squared, and then that's times 0 0.001. Then plus 1 minus 8.128 squared times what's the um, probability of that F bar being 1, 0 0.006 plus, okay, you go ahead and do it. Now, as you're doing this right here, so that's going to be 2 minus. 8.128 squared, and this is just up to the 0, 1, 2. I wrote down 3. I had to change that. And then you go dot, dot, dot. But you know you got to find the whole thing. So, this is how we put it into the calculator. I need you to take the time to put into your L1 and your L2. L1 your discrete random variables, L2, your probabilities. Take a minute. You can see I'm halfway there. Where is it? 5.020. Okay, the 6.038, And just finish it. Now let's remind ourselves of what we have here. Our L1 are our ABGAI scores from 0 to 10. Our L2 is the probability of getting those particular ABGAI scores. So as I 
just cross check to make sure that I put everything in correctly. Now, I mentioned something earlier and I said you wouldn't have to worry about it if you're just trying to find the mean. But the reality is, you know what? You're going to have to find standard deviation, so you should just go ahead and do it. Now, as we compare our, compare our formula to the list, how exactly am I going to put this? Um, am I going to have it do the calculations? Okay. So my L1 is my ABGAR sco um, score minus whatever the mean is, and in this case it is what, 8.128. Then I'm going to square it, and then I'm going to multiply this by my L what? My L2 because that's where my probabilities are in my calculator. So, I'm just going to put it in my L3 just because I feel like it. Um, you really don't have to. You could also put it on the desktop, but I just want to show you or remind you of. So, remember, you're going to highlight on top of there, open parenthesis, L1 minus 8.125. Close it, square it. And then here, I'm pretty sure you don't need a time sign with it there anyway. And then make this my L2. And it's going to populate all the answers there of those. And then after that, you need to tell it to take the sum of my L3. So here, I'm just going to go to my desktop, clean it up, clean. Okay, so I'm going to go under list, go over to math, sum of L3. So my variance is 2.065, etc. And now it asked me to find the standard deviation. So remember, the standard deviation is nothing but the variance squared or working the other way around, going from variance to standard deviation. Take that variance, take the square root of it, and there you go. Okay, so, and that means let's slide ourselves to here. What is the equation for the standard deviation? Well, take off that square root. It's nothing but the variance, but to get the standard deviation, you've got to get that variance, and then you've got to take the square root of it. So, TTFN, guys. Ta-ta for now. Peace out.